I told you, I told you we don't have the chickens. No. Yes. I'll call you back later. Hey guys, welcome back to an episode of uh, whatever this is. As you can see, we have an all new set. I'm sitting down, this is a nice table. We had a budget vote. What budget? You just sat down. Okay. Sorry guys, don't mind Alyssa. She's having a bit of diarrhea, you know, how that affects your mood. Anyway, how can I help you? Hey, Mickey. It's a, it's a great question. Many things are on my phone. Let's talk about it. Today with more and more space on your phone, that means you have more and more apps that you don't use. You probably have a million apps right now if you check uh, and you probably don't get past the first two pages. So I'm the kind of guy that likes to have all of my apps on one or two pages. I don't go beyond that. I don't like to put them out from the app drawer. I don't like to have them in multiple pages. I just like to have them all there. I recently started using the Honor 8 by Huawei and it's a really great phone. I've been using it for a while now. Um, it comes in a sweet, sweet blue. And so I wanted to make this video to share with you guys some of the apps that I use on a daily or regular basis. The first thing I usually install on my new devices, especially if they're not stock Android, is this thing called the Nova Launcher. If you don't know what the Nova Launcher is, it's an app that allows you to customize the look and feel of your home screen. So you've got settings that you can play around with like your desktop, your app and widget drawers, your dock, your folders, and other things. On the bottom left, I have my phone app, which nobody uses anymore. Next to that, I've got Spotify, which is where I listen to music when I'm on the road or when I'm running. I don't run, so. That never happens. Then I have my app drawer next to that where I keep the rest of my apps. Above that, I've got my productivity folder and these apps are the ones that help me do work on my phone. And among all of these, I think my favorite has to be Evernote because it's more than just a note-taking app. You can do lots of other stuff. You can set reminders, uh, you can set alarms, you can attach stuff to it. Uh, and it's just a really cool app. The only downside to Evernote is that if you're syncing across more than two devices, you have to pay a subscription fee. But for me, I'm only using two devices, so I'm pretty sad. But yeah, next to that is my social folder. And in this folder, I have Twitter, Pokemon Go, Skype, Snapchat, and messaging. I think my favorite one in here has to be Pokemon Go. I only use Pokemon Go in a social setting because I turn it on and then I don't speak to anybody. That's how social I am. And then next to that is my settings app. A lot of people have asked me why I have my settings icon on my main page. Because you know, even though you have phones like the iPhone or any Android phone that has scroll down quick settings that you can access, I like to have my settings icon where I can just go into the settings and tweak a little bit more. Above that, I have my Play Store, YouTube, Messenger, Kakaotalk, and Facebook. I think among this row, YouTube is my favorite app. Lots of videos that I watch on YouTube like twice and I know they're coming back soon, so I'm pretty excited. Oh my goodness. So beautiful, so beautiful. Okay, I'll talk to you later, girls. I'll talk to you later, girls. All right. Above that is my camera app, and this is just the stock camera app that comes with the phone. Uh, the Honor 8 has two cameras on the back of it, and it is 12 megapixels each. It has insane camera taking skills. Look at that. Even if you're a bad cameraman, you use this phone, you have that dual camera setup, you have aperture shots, and you are done. You don't need a professional photographer. You are the professional photographer. Another cool thing that I like about this camera is that it has this thing called the beauty selfie, and you have that beauty bar down there, which you can scroll from a zero to a 10. And if you're really ugly like me, you can scroll up to a 10, which just helps you look a little bit better. If you are a normal person, you can go to five. Uh, but if you think you're really beautiful, just keep it down to a zero. You don't have to use it at all. Moving on is Instagram, and Instagram is my favorite app on my phone. It's one of the first apps that I always install on any phones or devices because I just genuinely like Instagram. If you guys are on Instagram, hit me up, I'm at Mingasaw. Uh, next to that is my Google Maps, which I navigate around town with, and then my favorite photo editing app, VSCO, VS Code, whatever you want to call it. Um, I really like it for the filters that you have stock on the app. Uh, and if you, if you want to try out more filters, you can check it out in the marketplace as well. I don't use Snapseed that much. I don't use Adobe Lightroom on my phone that much. This is where I do most of my photo editing and I really like the filters in there. On my second page, there is a bunch of apps that I use on a pretty regular basis as well. Um, I do a lot of online shopping and buying with this. I have my movie tickets that I buy. I have my banking. I have my Starbucks. I don't use a card. Um, I have a Grab. I have H&M. And then, there's Lazada. If you guys want to get the Honor 8 from Huawei like me, you just need to type it in and look for it. There's going to be a bunch of options and colors because this phone comes in blue, white, and black. Um, I'm not sure if it's gold as well. There is a gold set as well. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. I wish I got the gold one. You guys just need to look for it and there's going to be lots of listings and options. Compare prices to be a smart buy about it, guys. Um, another app that I use on the second page a lot is Hypebeast. And Hypebeast is my favorite. I say that 
two or three times already. It's my favorite app to go to at night uh, when I'm about to sleep. I check out what's new in the footwear department. I check out what's new in tech or movies or music. And it's always good to keep yourself updated. So this is my little sort of like new portal for the stuff that I'm interested in. Yeah, that's it guys. That's what I have on my phone, the apps that I use on a regular basis. Tell me what your setup is because I'm really interested to know as well. And if you have any app recommendations, sort me out in the comment box, guys. Let me know what you guys want to watch next and hit me up with the Hey Mingy and I will see you guys soon next time on the next episode of whatever this is. No! Zoe's a special one. We got Zoe from a pet shop. But this time around, because we decided to get Zoe on our own, uh, it was a little bit different because my mom wasn't paying for everything for the dog. It was up to Minghan and I uh, on what food we were going to get, what toys we wanted to buy her, and, and, and when we were going to bring her to the vet.